Hello dear gamers, Yorkville here and today we are back for the 6th episode of Tokyo School Life. Yeah, that's the Japanese version of Tokyo School Life, just kidding. We are back for the 6th episode of TSL. Last time, Karin was an idol, literally, like she performed at a concert. She was like Hatsune Miku 0.5, if you know what I mean. Well, yeah, let's get into this 6th um, episode and see what waits for us in this one. Minazuki-san, Minazuki-san, are you going to be a part of this year's Tanabata Matsuri at Tomoe Shrine? Yes, I will be able to Please, Yeah, I'll lend my modest writing skills again this year as usual. Please come visit and invite your friends too. I'll come, I'll come. I wonder what I should wish for. Do I want some big bucks or maybe to win the tournament? Oh, I noticed that it's girl B. Uh, maybe it's a new character that we're gonna get? I don't know. Come on. Oh, now it's girl A. Come on, be a little more romantic about it. What's up? What are you guys talking about? Oh, York Field Kun. We're talking about Tomoe Shrine's Tanabata Matsuri. Tanabata? Ah, man. Even, even York Field Kun, the Japan expert, doesn't know about Tanabata. It's a Japanese festival of Matsuri. Now that you mention it, yesterday a bunch of adults came to the shrine and were working on something. They must be preparing for the Matsuri. I happen to have a pamphlet about it. Would you like to see? Yeah, let me see. Oh, I want one too. Me too, me too. Oh, okay, I have plenty. Here you are. What's this? In the Milky Way, there are two outstanding stars. The constellation Vega, the daughter of the Lord of the Sky is known as Weaver, the Weaver, Ohirime, and the constellation Altair, the Cow Herder, also known as Hikoboshi. The two gained permission from the Lord of the Sky and were wed. However, their relationship was so harmonious, it resulted them in neglect neglecting their jobs. The Lord of the Sky was angered and separated them to different sides of the Milky Way. Ohirime was so grief-stricken uh, that the Lord of the Sky finally permitted them to cross the Milky Way and just meet just once at a year on July 7th. So the pair pressed on and worked diligently, uh, er eternally looking forward to their yearly meeting on July 7th. Oh, and a little fun fact before we continue. July 7th is the date uh, of my second ever video uploaded on my main French YouTube channel. So yeah, it started on July 6th and July 7th is the day where I really started uploading a lot of videos. Like the first ever videos that were cringy. We'll look at that later on, later this year about my cringy old videos. To share in the good luck of when the couple is about to meet once a year. In Japan, they have the tradition of writing a wish on a narrow strip of paper called a tanzaku and hanging it on a piece of bamboo, grass and praying for it to come true. This is the origin of the Tanaba Matsuri. They say if, if it rains on July 7th, the Milky Way, which is often described as the ri river of the heavens, in Southeast Asia will flood and the pair is doomed to not meet for another year. I wonder how it will turn out for this year. Let's all pray for a sunny clear day. Mm, I think I've heard of this story somewhere before. I remember Tanabata, that's it. Ch chapter 13, Wish Upon a Star, Silent Determination. So this is the story behind that chapter. Huh? Yorkfield, what are you talking about? It's a chapter in Samurai Maiden where Saigu-chan starts to write a romantic, girly wish, but she can't because her identity will be found out. So that was a Tanabata episode. Huh? That's one of those, right? Some kind of manga they show on TV for something? Your field could you watch those? Samurai Maiden is the best manga ever. Also, the the one they show on TV is anime, not manga. I guess even Japanese people mix it that up if some if it's not something they're interested in. I'm kinda surprised. Uh but isn't it kinda otakuish? No way. Samurai Maiden is popular all around the world. I'm looking forward to the anime. It actually starts airing today. 
The two look at me with a troubled expression. Man, how can I get across to them how good Samurai Maiden is? Hey, Sakura, you get it, Samurai Maidens? Anna? Um, Yorkfield-san. Sakura grabs my arm. She squeezes and tugs. Uh, what? Is she hugging me? Hold on, I remember some important business I must attend to. I need to go speak with you privately, so come over here. Um, uh, so no dilly -dally dallying. Let's go, right now, now, now. We'll leave the two girls staring blankly at Sakura brings me into the hallway. What's the matter with Sakura? I've never seen her so frazzled before. She, she drags me to a dead end where no one can see us and then finally stops walking. Um, Sakura, are you gonna confess your love to me or something? If so, I'm glad for your feelings, but I couldn't... Couldn't you be a little more romantic about... <laughs> Please save the idiotic jokes for later. Okay... Okay, I admit it, but it was an idiotic joke. But it isn't gonna mean to say that so bluntly right into my face. You don't stay master. I let my guard down. You hadn't brought it up again since that one time, so I just assumed you'd forgotten about it. I don't really get what you're talking about. You're a field, Sam. Please listen to me. Don't talk to me about manga or anime at school. Ah, uh, you mean about Samurai Maiden? Hi. Yes. Why? I really don't get why. Attend... Oh, sorry. I attend school under the guise that I'm a person with no such interests. So if people think I do, it's bothersome. Ah, but... Sakura, you bought Samurai Maiden, right? You read it, right? She was lying about her little sister, so... Even if I read it, it's not like I'm really into it or knowledgeable about it. I had simply thought I should get it, since it's a hot topic right now, that's all. Hmm, I'm not buying this. When someone mentions Samurai Maiden, I guess a lot of people know of it from all the coverage about how the story reimagines the historical hero Saigu Ta Takamori to be a girl. Hey, I'm on. Uh, um, you will feel sad? So, a lot of the criticism paints in a sleazy light, but if it really was sleazy, it wouldn't be so popular around the whole world. That's what I think. Oh. Huh? I think the most interesting thing about Samurai Maiden is... Okay, the battle scenes are so flashy and awesome. The contrast between sweet Saigu-chan and her gallant Samurai heart. Saigu-chan's romance... Okay, I'm gonna say... Uh... The last one. It's gotta be Saigu-chan's romance with the cool male characters. The fact that Saigu-chan can't reveal her true gender leads to a lot of tense and exciting moments. Yeah, yes, that is one of the most charming aspects of Samurai Maiden. Being a character-driven story, there are many interesting male characters. Saigu-chan's interaction, interactions with them can't be missed. Conflict and resolution are the key to elements to create drama. Saigu-chan being a girl is used to its utmost in that respect. Saigu-chan's catchphrase also takes on a new meaning when said by a girl, don't you think? Hi! Samurai wa shinu koto o osorenai, desu ne? Ganrai wa seimei no shoujo de aru josei ga kono serif o shaberu koto de nigen tekina shitei kan o koeta sakusha no tetsugaku ga tou yu sareteiru no de wa to. Yes, a samurai doesn't fear death. 
when in a, when a woman, a symbol of life, speaks this line, it expresses that the author's philosophical ideas go beyond the duality of life or death. Sakura, I knew it. You've read a ton of Samurai Maiden. <laughs> you all feel sad you got me corn corner, don't you? Nah, I didn't mean to take a big deal out of it or anything, but... Yeah, indeed, I'm a big fan of Samurai Maiden. The recent story development had me so excited. I even drew something during class. That's how much I love it. Now, are you satisfied? Ah, ah. Wow, sorry, Sakura. I didn't mean to pick you, or pick on you or anything. It's just that I don't get why you feel like you have to hide it so much. Well, not everyone looks fa favorably on an interest in anime and manga. I don't want to make any unnecessary waves in class. Now that you mention it. When these two girls from a four heard the name Samurai Maiden, the expression did seem kind of like they were looking down on it. Still, I think it's pretty silly to have to be secretive about what you like just because some other people will make unpleasant faces about it. Yorkfield san I do understand your point very well. I understand, however... Hmm... From the way she's been talking, it seems like her love of Samurai Maiden runs really deep. Kind of a waste. Sakura, do you hide your interest from Karin and Aoi too? <laughs> oh my, no! Of course not! Those two are my family. I don't hide this from them. Then there's no problem with me knowing too, right? Even if it's up for a short time. I'm a member of Tomoe Dormitory too. That's... yeah, you're right. So that means it's okay to talk about Samurai Maiden at Tomoe Dormitory? Anyway, let's watch the first episode of the anime together, and let's talk all about Samurai Maiden too. Is that okay with you? Is it okay with me? Of course, more like I should be the one asking you. Okay, so she definitely loves Samurai Maiden. When we get back from school, the inside of the shrine is decorated for, for Tanabata. There are big cuts of bamboo grass all about. The lines of many small red hanging lanterns are a fantastic sight. In front of the bamboo grass, the strips of Tanzaku paper are left out of people to ride on. Families and couples are happily riding their wishes. When the wind blows, the branches of the bamboo grass, tied with bunches of colorful paper, tied wave beautifully. They told me they needed to get ready and ushered, ushered me out of dormitory, so I'm waiting for everyone outside of the temple. Though I wonder, what are they getting ready for anyway? They're sure ta taking their sweet time. Yorkfield, thanks for waiting. Yorkfield, did you behave yourself while we were gone? You haven't gotten into trouble, have you? Yeah, how are we cutting? You guys took a long time. See, just like I told you, he's speechless. Yorkfield, come on, say something. It's embarrassing the way you're just staring. Fantastic! Subarashi! I can't believe it. You guys are in tri mating shamans who serve God, Miko Priestesses. As sacred as they're lovely, truly the ultimate form of beauty. Ah, stop! It's way too embarrassing when you put it like that. It's not like we were full-time Miko or something. We were just helping out since 
they provide for us here. So this is kind of like cosplay. Oh, I see. But you're, if you guys are helping out, is there anything I, sh I, sh I should do? So you don't worry. I figured you'd say that. So we're sure to prepare a job for you. Don't worry. Whoa! This is pretty raw. In the hills behind the shrine, I slash with the blade. It sounds cool, but this isn't a scene from some dangerous suspense drama. I'm just cutting some bamboo grass. The bamboo grass trunks are way more sturdy than they look. After bending them, I struck them with the knife. This is way harder than I expected. Man, what a lifesaver! They said to cut more bamboo grass because it seems like more people are gonna come. It pays to have a guy around at times like this. Sorry about this, we already changed our clothes, so we can't do anything that would get us dirty. No, I don't mind. This isn't this is a man's work. I couldn't stand to that view. To let you get caught on your cute hands. How can you say stuff like that with a straight face? Ah, ah, stop, stop. Don't treat me like some kind of princess. It doesn't suit me. I can't take it. Hey, Yorkville, what do you think about this? How this can this be? How can this girl be so cute and yet she isn't aware of it? It's weird, right? I totally agree. Man, enough teasing already. It's time to work. Get cracking. I didn't mean it as teasing though. By the way, bamboo grass is bamboo, right? Huh? Huh? Sasa wa sasa. Bamboo grass is bamboo grass. Bamboo is bamboo. Huh? Yeah, but look, they're the same. The grass is just a thin bamboo stalk. No, 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 no way. Pandas only eat the bamboo grass, right? Uh, sorry about that. Karin chan pandas eat bamboo too. <laughs> what? Then what is bamboo grass? What is bamboo grass? Oh, Drat, I don't get any reception here. I'll have to look it up later. Since you guys are just helping out, does that mean there's full time Miko here too? Yeah, but they do their rituals from late at night for the day before until first thing in the morning. Yesterday early in the morning, the real Miko came to say prayers and to do lots of other stuff too. What? I had no idea. Why didn't you tell me? It wouldn't make any difference if you knew. Outsiders aren't allowed to observe the ritual. We never seen them either. So that's why tonight they have a matsuri for the local people and that's why we can help out too. Also, that's how it works. By the way, where's Sakura? Doesn't seem like she was with you. Sakura-chan's the lead role today. She's, she, she's still putting on makeup and stuff. Lead role? Sakura's a real high class girl, so she's accomplished in calligraphy and that kind of stuff. 
Her riding's so skillful that the visitors ask her to write their wishes for them. She's gotten a lot of praise for it. Sakura-chan, you can write a letter and 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 write a letter. They say if you get Sakura-chan to write your wish, it's more likely to get granted than if you write it yourself. So lots of local girls started coming here. Wow, I see. Oh, so is that what the bamboo grass is I'm、um, cutting is for? Bingo! Lots of girls are gonna come this year with hopes of getting Sakura to write their Tanzaku for them. Okay, that's totally new to me, even as a Weibo. This is totally new to me. Whoa. I can't help but shout when I see the massive group of girls gathered in the shrine grounds. What's up with this? A huge crowd appeared out of nowhere, and they're all middle school girls. The girls cry out in shrill voices. There's so much energy. I involuntarily step back. Amiko walks along from the opposite direction. She stands with such tight posture, I feel like her diligence is gonna rub off on me. The squealing of the girls also dies down. Oh, it's Sakura. Everyone, welcome to the Tomoe Shrine Tanabata Matsuri. I am Minazuki Sakura, who will take on the task of calligraphy today. I'm a novice, but I will do my best for you, so please take that part. Sakura takes out a black stone case and silently fills it with water. She stands a small black pole in it and gently rubs it back and forth. If I recall, this is the way to make sumi a kind of ink. I heard that this way of rubbing it from the source is more traditional than using liquid ink that you can use immediately. As she does this, a line of girls fo forms in front of her. All of their faces beam with excitement. Sakura thanks the first girl in line. The girl nervously approaches, brings her face close to Sakura's, and whispers in her ear. She finishes telling Sakura her wish and blushes bright red. I bet she She was making a wish about love. Sakura smiles kindly and takes the brush and paper in hand. She gets pl plenty of sumi and ink on the brush and slowly glides it along the paper. Her movements flow smoothly. Sakura passes the finished Tanzaku to Karin. Karin ties it onto some bamboo grass behind them. As she does this, Sakura is already beginning the next girl's Tanzaku. Sakura seems mystical as her brush effortlessly glides along with perfect form. If you told me that she's a real Miko, I'd believe you. She really feels like a messenger of God. Sakura seems impatient. She's politely drawing the Tanzaku, but when there's a spare moment, she glances towards Tomo Dormitory. I think she's worried about the time. Aiwi looks confused by this, but I get what's going on. That's because it's time for the first episode of Samurai Maiden to start. At this rate, she won't make it in time to watch the anime on air. She can't see a clock to tell the time right now, so she must feel very uneasy. Also, that and all look closely, Sakura looks very tired. I'm worried she's running out of stamina. Yeah, okay. I can't just suddenly call up Sakura, so I can't. So I take a blank Tanzaku left out on a ne nearby table and write a message to her in Japanese. So, sorry, Aoi, pray with me. Huh? Huh? You look filled? As I take a Tanzaku from a puzzled Sakura, I hand her the memo I have written in exchange. Sakura, you're really tired, aren't you? Do you want to take me over? Do you want me to take over? They'd probably be happy to have a Gaijin write their wishes too. When Sakura sees it, She immediately takes another Tanzaku and writes a reply so quickly to my eyes can barely follow her movements. Wow, that beautiful writing! Though it's so artistic that it's a little hard to read. Let me see here. Everyone, 
録画をお願いします。Everyone has very high expectations for me. Saigu-chan would definitely not praise me if I neglected my position now. You will feel sad. Please record the episode using the BD recorder. <laughs> As I, at the bottom of the message, there's a stylized drawing of Saikuchan winking super cutely. Sakura is really good at drawing. I tap on Sakura's back and nod to her. Sakura sees me and nods slightly so that no one around would notice. Wow, I'm really liking this game, guys. Luckily, the video recording in the living room is in the same brand that my family uses back home, so I can figure it out even if I can't read the menus in Japanese. Not much more time. Start recording now. Oh, the opening for Samurai Maiden is starting. She's moving. Saigu Chan is moving. I've seen it on promo videos, but I'm getting emotional from seeing her in action on TV. I wonder if I should watch it without her. She didn't say to wait for her, so I think it'd be okay, but. Oh man, this is making me want to watch the whole thing. Still, Sakura is giving her work for her all. Uh, I should wait until this is all over so we can watch it together and talk about it. Yeah. What's going on? I hear some sirens. What kind of siren is this? I don't wonder if this is a fire or some kind of accident. It sounds dangerous. Done recording. But man, Sakura sure is taking a long time. She really should be done by now. The recording's finished, so I guess I'll go how she's doing. Oh, someone's here. I guess the Matsuri is finally done. You're late, Sakura? y o r k f i e l d what do you think you're doing here? What am I doing? I'm recording Sakura Maiden. I feel a sharp pain in my left cheek. k a r i n slapped me. Huh? Why? I don't get it. Sakura got tired at the time. Anta was in the corner of the manga and the manga was in the c o r n e of the m a n g <sighs> Sakura fainted? And you're here worrying about recording some manga? You got some nerve, you damn good for nothing. I get the chills. It feels like I've been hit back in the back with ice. What do you mean Sakura fainted? <laughs> Don't tell me you didn't hear that loud ambulance! So it was a QQ shot? You're misunderstanding. I saw. I know what happened. Sakura can ask your field to record it. Huh? Sakura ga? What? Sakura did? <gasps> I heard the text message notification sound from my pocket. Damn, why at a time like this? I don't have time for this right now. Sakura? Huh? What's this mean? I just heard she fainted. So she wasn't she carried away in the QQ s h a k e r i n a y o m i both peer at my phone over my shoulders. I opened the message from Sakura. Did you record the Samurai Maiden anime? Please burn it into a BD and bring it on a laptop to the town hospital. Within hours and soon, so please hurry. What is this? I was so angry, like an idiot. Karen is crestfallen and drops to the floor. Okay, that was weird. Okay, guys, we have reached the end of the video. Right before I say thank you for watching and all of that, not gonna lie, I feel a little bit sad for Sakura that had to go to the hospital and that siren. I was wondering, like, if it was. Like a tsunami or maybe a, a jishin, which means an earthquake. Because you know, in Japan, there's a lot of earthquakes, especially the one on January 1st. Much respect for the people who died in that event. I hope、um, you're gonna go in heaven. I'm really hoping that Sakura is going to be fine at the hospital. Because if she isn't, then I'm gonna cry probably. We'll be back maybe、uh, in episode 7 of TSL or maybe another video. So. Thank you very much for watching the episode 6 of TSL. Stay safe, take care, and remember life is a game with many games to choose from. Peace, bye!